Okay, let's try to fit it with the rack gear in. I, I cut that slot in the bottom there for the rack gear. Slid my rack gear in. That spinner may not be all the way down. We may be able to get it a little bit closer. Slide uh Yeah, that looks good in airplane mode. Nice a little higher in the back, just a fraction. Good fit. Good space. Okay, that. Okay, this this rack gear is hitting this conversion fairing right on this corner, which sometimes you see that corner is going to have to be trimmed back, and it's also catching like it did on the the uh, down here. The backup arm is catching here, so we we'll need to trim that back a little bit. So just mark it with a pencil. way to get enough room. Yeah, I just knocked off that sharp corner right in there. And I'll mark it here again where uh, the rack gear hits. Backup arm hits. And we'll grind that back a little bit. The same thing we did, that other one will just drop it down in this area. Drop that down a little bit in here. You really can't see that down in there, so.
So I need to drop it down much farther back too. So I ground that back. It get, hits that front of that screw here and the back one back here, so you kind of got to get a wide dish in there. Okay, so that will keep that from catching. Not too bad of a joint, not quite as nice as the other one. And the spinner gap is bigger than the other one. Uh, just make sure that spinner's down all the way. Seems like this bulkhead in here is set in way too far out this way. It could be much deeper. Now we got some plastic spinners coming out and they should fit a lot better and should decrease that gap too. So, so that's uh, the left hand uh, nacelle installation. I will take that back apart and then hook everything back up.